Welcome to my workshop. Today we're going to do some machining on the CNC router. Uh, we're going, it's a continuation of uh, the making of this Knight's Shield. Um, so the video preceding this is the new ATCAM standard um, putting this using together. the relief clip out library within ATCAM. Right, so the first thing to do is get a piece of work um, square on the table. Um, so what I'm going to do is line this edge up here with this edge here. We'll do that simply with a, with a square. And you can get it within half a millimetre or so by eye. That's pretty damn good there actually. And then clamp it down firmly to the bed. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to load the first uh, cutting strategy, which is or tool path, which is the 6mm ball mill roughing cut. So just drop that down a second, that's just uh, bringing up what's on my uh, flash drive. Uh, this is NC Studio. Now, um, I will be continuing for a, until the end of this year, um, tutorials on NC Studio. Um, we probably, Pacific Tools that is, will probably be discontinuing uh, the availability of machines with NC Studio, uh, because quite honestly, out of um, 40, the last 40 machines that we have sold, um, only three have been sold with NC Studio. Um, and I think that's because NC Studio requires uh, an XP computer. Uh, and I think the last of those is probably 2004, 2003, 2004. And they're getting a little old now. Um, but this is really a good program and I personally like it um, so you know if someone really wants uh, even after the end of this year if someone really wants a machine with NC Studio we can still provide it but obviously due to the computers being so old we cannot um, provide a warranty um, for the program, uh, you know, going into an old computer. Um, so, there we have it. Um, so, what we do, we come up here to this top corner where it says File, uh, Open and Load, E Drive, here we go. Um, so, here we are now, here's the file here, the 6mm rough in, double click and it's into NC Studio. Um, so now we can set up the zero position um, on our machine with NC Studio and I'll show you how to do that. Okay. So let's move in relatively slowly and we can increase that speed. Okay, so what, now I'm fairly close, within a couple of millimetres of the uh, centre of that material. Uh, and I was on full jog just then. So I'm going to bring it down to um, about, uh, let me see, about mm, half a millimetre. So it's going to go half a millimetre per depress of the, um, 
button on the keypad. Okay, so we'll take the Z down. So it'll go precisely um, half a millimetre and we can just jog it into position like this way. We can even go finer than that. Very fine. And that's fine. <laughs> right, so having uh, done our X and Y, it's just a simple matter of going to... Th this stands for work coordinate. This is machine coordinate. We just go on in this box and go Y zero X zero. Now I'll change to a uh, six millimeter ball mill and um, I'll set the zero. Uh, but first, I uh, just want to show you one thing to alter the screen here. If you go hover over the screen and right click, you can alter the window. Like I'm, I'm zooming. In. If you push both keys down now, oh, there you go. You can actually move this around on the screen. Uh, this is the actual work envelope of my machine. So it's um, 900 millimeters in length, 600 millimeters wide, and it's actually 150 millimeter in uh, Z. Uh, but I can actually fit 200 millimeters under the gantry. Uh, but the actual travel of the uh, Z screw is only 150 millimeters, so I like to keep it uh, at that. Now, some of you would have seen me do this trick before. You just get a piece of ordinary A4 paper, there's a piece of it, put underneath the tool, and bring the tool down to it. This is about at one thousandth of an inch, so. We're just going to bring the tool down so it just touches the paper, so then we know we're a thousandth of an inch off the material. Alter the jog. be very precise with this. So that's within two thou, so we'll take it within one thousandth of an inch now. That's it. Just touching it. One more, and that's just grabbed it. So that is absolutely perfect on the material there. So then what we do is zero the Z. And to zero the Z now in NC Studio, it's just a simple matter of coming to this box and there it is. And this X here is showing us exactly where uh, the, the Z0, X0 and Y0 zero, and the work offset is in relation to our full table. So now we're going to lift up lift up the tool to a safe position and now we're going to start cutting. Okay I've got the spindle started up now uh, because my spindle on this machine is not controlled by NC Studio and I've got it running at the appropriate speed. But what I'm going to do, as I always do when I'm starting a cut, is I bring the feed rate all the way down to a much, much slower rate. 20% in this case. 
uh, which gives me plenty of time to, to, to see what the tool is doing and um, I can stop the program if something bad is happening. So that's what we're going to do now is start the program. 